cool down. Our future track does show partly cloudy skies through 7 o'clock tonight. Tomorrow morning, we're still tracking partly cloudy skies, just not seeing a lot of green. With the exception of tomorrow at lunchtime, we'll be seeing a thunderstorm just south of dimming. But our latest models show most of the rain stays out to our west through Friday at 7 o'clock. So that means good news for the Friday night football games. 7 o'clock Saturday morning, 8 o'clock hour, 9 o'clock hour. If the kids maybe have outdoor games, we're still under partly cloudy skies. Lunchtime, partly cloudy, thunderstorms around the area mountains and around the Gila region. Then at 7 o'clock on Friday, I think the clouds will remain in place. Our current weather setup. Now this is going to be tonight through at least Saturday. High pressure still dominant, but we will be tracking a disturbance that will move in from the Rockies, and that's going to generate some wind for us and cool us down a bit this weekend. But if you are headed to the Aggie game on Saturday, it's going to be at 6 o'clock kickoff. We're in the low 80s. I think the system could also bring in some moisture. So as of now, I do have a 10% chance for rain, and it could be a little breezy at the start of the game, so just keep that in mind. Temperatures will be a few degrees cooler on Sunday. For El Paso, Las Cruces, also tracking the 80s Saturday and Sunday. So any plans you may have this weekend, we'll just be seeing breezy conditions and that slight chance for rain that'll be on Saturday. Tonight we'll drop to the 50s, Las Cruces, El Paso. Tomorrow we'll climb to the 80s, looking like another gorgeous day tomorrow. There's a look at your seven day forecast. As we look ahead to next week, we'll be tracking low 80s to kick off the week in El Paso. Las Cruces tomorrow you'll be at 84 degrees, a little cooler by next Thursday in the 70s. Sam?